Hello everybody, this is a video that was requested just because I left a comment on a on another video where they were showing you how to make a Reese base with uh, serum but using lots of external effects and I just pointed out the fact that it could be done with uh, no external effects and people asked me to show them how to do it so here we go. Uh, a Reese base is usually made up of two saw waves that are um, detuned and you'll get something like this. And in context, okay so you're very very, I'm going to keep this one here open just so I can kind of remind myself what it is, what it's roughly doing and then just make it again. So essentially an old school Reese was this. So we've got our two saw toots. We've just detuned them. Sorry. To make them kind of wobble faster, you just detune them more. Some people say, oh, but you can just do that by putting the unison up, but it doesn't sound as good. Obviously different. This is your very basic reason. Now, some people might do this, kind of throw a little bit of a filter on it. Then start it. If you are a kind of tech itch fan, you might do something like uh, this. And they had a key control, a uh, key track, sorry, so they could play the note. So what I've done is I've assigned the note to the cutoff, so different notes to play will have different amounts of different. Uh, place in the cutoff. So right, that's your basic Reese. Uh, is that the end of the video? Well, no. Now I've high passed that one, so I'll put in a sign as well. You can. So what we're going to do today is make a modern sounding Reese, which is far more gritty, far more raspy, uh, and in a way, quite simple to make. So we're going to stick to our um, sawtooth. We're going to open up the second one. We're going to leave this one an octave higher than this one. You'll see why in a moment. Uh, so we have this now. So we're going to close down the second one. And what we're going to do is we're going to start to give it that kind of the wobble. But we're not going to do this in, uh, on this occasion by um, using a second oscillator. We're going to do it by using FM. So we're going to use this oscillator to frequency modulate this one. So we've turned the volume down here, so we're not actually going to hear anything. And we're going to just use this one. We're getting loads of extra harmonics there, aren't we? And of course, we need to make it wobble, so let's do that. So we're going to put an LFO, which is a low frequency oscillator, on here. But we don't need it to go all the way, so it's just a little bit of LFO. Uh, I'm going to take the BPM off this one, and I'm going to move it down to around I don't know, 0.5 hertz. Now, this is what this is doing.
clean sawtooth and then we're bringing in the FM which is giving us lots of extra raspiness. But of course we remember that when we go higher up in the notes, uh, we kind of want that to go faster, right? So, but it's not, but we're going to make it. So we take our note modulator and drag it here on the rate. Just kind of by ear, found the lowest note. You know how slow do you want it to go, essentially. And then how fast when you get up to the top note that you'll play. You can take a little bit of the FM off. There's a bit too much. So if there's more, it's like. This is something that you would do by ear, really. Okay, I'm just going to turn on a few settings. Mono, legato, all that means is that we can't play two notes at once. Take them off. That's not what we want. And I'm going to make it glide a little. So I'm going to put this on. I think it's one... What was it? 115, yeah. And I'm going to put this on all this. So what that does is it just glides between the notes as the notes change. Okay, so the next thing that you will see in that video is the guy starts to now just use all kinds of other external plugins which are totally unnecessary. Um, he got this kind of frequency shifter thing, pointless, because we have notches and that's exactly what that one's doing, we're just moving notches around. Let me show you what I mean. Find a place where you want it to be. Yeah, I remember what I did. Now I used a different kind of LFO, a different shape. So I'm just going to match the settings. And the reason that we're matching the settings is so when the, everything kind of goes faster together. So if we were to drag this on, and now we just find the space where we want it to actually sound, where you know where we think it sounds best. it a bit if we need to. Okay, so we're nearly there now. Uh, let's start to throw on some effects. I think what's going on here? Oh yes, I forgot about the white noise bit. This was actually done, of course, within Serum. It's just going to add on lots of extra raspiness. Um, I'm just going to draw out these LFOs. I'll show you what why we picked this curve in a minute. I'm just going to match the settings. Uh, okay, so um, this is going to control the volume of the white noise. So at the moment we have this. So we're adding extra harmonics, extra top end, but it's that sounds rubbish. So what we're doing is we're sticking on an LFO. So if I were to turn this off, this is what this is going to do. 
and this is just the LFO that sounded best for this use. So I'll show you what kind of differences happen here. times so it's just adding a little bit of extra grit I want you to want it to go a bit faster though just extra sizzle at the top Okay, next we're going to move on to the effects. We want it to be a little bit bigger, so let's throw some chorus on it. Again, this is just by ear. Distortion. Here's a very interesting thing. The guy did all kinds of extra distortions and stuff. It was outside of serum and totally pointless as I said. So what I'm going to do here is right, if you stick on distortion it doesn't actually sound very good does it? It's kind of like making the signal all dirty and rubbish. So here's a trick right. So we have here a filter and there's, uh, you can put it, you can turn it off, you can put it on before it goes into distortion or afterwards. We're going to put it in. And what happens is, it kind of filters the sound. Okay, and high pass would be. changes the sound. So we're going to put it on bandpass, which means everything outside of this is going to be um, taken away. So let's see what it does. Okay, before and after. So treble is gone, bass is gone. It's just sounding a little bit thin, hasn't it? So what we can do is we can mix it in. So where you put it just kind of depends on what you want, really. If you want it to be kind of more top endy, a little bit more mid endy. This kind of sounded good for now. This gives it loads of extra crunch. Okay, the next thing we're going to put on is the multiband compressor. Again, that guy had this sort of um, the erosion plugin, which is a kind of uh, ring modulation effect. We don't have that. We don't need that to give it extra top end. So I'm going to press the multiband. So I'm going to gain it up a little bit. I'm going to do it before. I'm going to do an after, and then I'll explain what's happening. So what's happened here is the multiband compressor, this is the OTT over the top. Flattens the signal out, boosts the highs where it needs to, boosts the lows where it needs to, just try and give everything the same amount of importance. And essentially what it's done is uh, it's kind of boosted more of the highs, so we're getting even more raspy top end. Uh, it's a very useful tool to use when you're making any kind of bass. <laughs> When you're going to make this, use this in the track, you might want to uh, filter away the bottom part of it. And then layer a sign on top of it. So I've got here my uh, sign. And the reason 
that we're doing that is because it kind of removes some of the muddy information at the bottom, at the sort of bottom mids that we just really don't need. They're going to help us to mix the track better. So here we are. is use the uh, different filter which is the high with the notch it essentially sticks one of these notches in just to kind of cut out a little bit more of the undesirable part of the sound personally I'd like a little bit more speed at the top Let's do that. Okay, so there we have it. This is a really nasty Reese, much nastier than uh, your sort of standard one as we heard earlier on, used only uh, or made using only serum nothing else uh, and in context again which is it's got a lot more presence than the kind of old school way of making it where you're just detuning to to uh, sawtooths so i hope you found this helpful thank you for joining me today and i'll see you again next time in another video bye now